my name is Kelsey and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. My closet name is Kelsey, the number one's Posh Stop. And today I'm going to be unboxing another Thread Up shoe mystery box because I am hoping for Rothy's or Teaks. That is my hope. I will keep ordering these until I get them because I am obsessed. I've seen people get them. I want them. <laughs> I can't find them in thrift stores. I'm not thrifting right now anyway. This is really my main source of um, sourcing is Thread Up right now. Um, and it's been working out really well so far. My sales have been up and um, I really enjoy the mystery of mystery boxes. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more unboxings and thread or reseller related content, then make sure to like and subscribe below and let's get into it. This is a 15 pair um, mixed sizes rescue box and it was $90. I also just recently unboxed um, two Thread Up DIY designer boxes which were really great so if you haven't seen that video make sure you go watch that one. Um, let's see what is in here. My last shoe box was really good. Um, these are a pair of Nike Revolution 2 sneakers. Um, the condition looks great. These look brand spanking new. Um, they are a size eight, so it's a good size. And I mean, they're just great shoes with pink laces. The bottoms are in excellent condition. Like these don't look like they've ever, they've barely been worn, if they've been worn at all. These boots have a $10 sticker on them. I don't know what from. Let's see. boots are so hard to see the brand because it's just on the insole. This one doesn't even have that. Um, I don't know what these are. They just say they have a style number. They say all man-made materials and they're size nine women's. They have a $10 sticker on them. One of them is stuffed, um, but with newspaper. So I, I don't know anything about these. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Like if I list them, then I have to keep them and they'll take up a lot of space and I don't know how quickly they'll sell, but they do have an elastic back. I think maybe my sister's a size nine, so maybe she'll want them. Uh, okay, this brand is called Marvin and it's a boot with like a blue, it's a black suede boot with a blue elastic. Marvin sounds, Mar Marvin K, Marvin K. That sounds familiar, but I don't remember. I'll have to look up comps. It looks like it's a size eight. Yeah, and it says it's made in Italy, so that's usually a good sign. So I'll have to look these up. The suede, I mean, they've been worn. Like the suede is a little bit worn around the edges, but they, I mean, there's not any tears or anything. So they've got kind of like a plastic like eyelet in them. Uh, it's like punched and then it's got like plastic underneath. So that's interesting. Um, oh, okay. These are Marnie, which is designer. Um, and they're like a satin pump with a pointy toe. The quality doesn't look amazing. So it's interesting. Um, they've got like a raw edge on the inside. So I'll have to look into these a little bit more. They've got the logo is like a, a bunny. Um, so I don't really know much about Marnie. So I'll have to do more research. Um, these are a size 39 and a half. So a size US nine usually is how that translates. Um, oh, these are great. Okay. So these are AGL, which is um, Attilio Gusti Lombruni. Um, so these are expensive shoes. I've sold like one pair of AGL flats and they, I mean, they didn't do amazing, but they did well. Uh, these are size 39 and they're like a leather with like a little ruffle pleated detail. Um, and then like a silver toe, which is a little bit cracked. It's a little bit cracked and a little bit, um, a little bit of hole in it. The rest of the shoe looks great. Um, it's a really soft leather with like a little small heel but the toe is not great, but I think I should still do okay. Oh, wow. Okay. 
uh, these are a pair of Prada shoes, but they are a bit torn up. The, the design detail looks pretty good, the beading. Um, this heel cap is like totally off, so I might need to take these for repair because the logo looks great. Um, bottoms are decent, like, I, I think they're in, I mean, pretty good condition otherwise. Like, the fabric's a little bit worn. It looks kind of like a, a upholstery fabric. Um, they're a size 37. Definitely needs a new heel cap. I don't think that's very expensive to do, so it might be worth doing. Um, because I, usually Prada can sell for, like, $75 for me, um, if it's older, which these do look like they are. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, but repair is not my strong point. Wow, another pair of AGLs. Um, did I say what size the last ones were? I don't know if I did. It looks like they're, oh yeah, I did. They're 39. So what size are these? These are also 39. So these, I would say, are in better condition than the last ones. Um, they're also cream. These are flats. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, this is another pair of boots. These are Tahari, which is an expensive brand. It doesn't resell that well for me, um, but definitely worth listing and definitely worth the cost of this box. Uh, so these are brown boots. Let me check the other one. And the condition looks great, honestly. Like, that looks really good. Um, uh, it's definitely faux suede, but really, really good. These are um, MK Michael Kors, Michael Michael Kors um, boots, which also expensive, doesn't resell great, but the, they're cute. They're cute little boots. There's a little bit of damage on the toe, but it's not that bad. Um, these are size eight, and yeah, this is, so far this is a really good box. Uh, I thought my last box was my best box, but oh no, this is pretty good. Um, these are a pair of Dr. Scholl's flats. It says be free. So I don't think those are that expensive, but I think they might sell and they look like they're in excellent condition. Um, it's kind of like a gray color with like a blue chambray lining. Bottom looks in great condition. They should be comfortable with their Dr. Scholl's, I think. Um, these are Morona by Target. So not exciting, but they're a size seven and they're pretty cute. So I will list those. I don't see like the heel cap's a little bit scuffed, but that's really it. Otherwise they look in great condition. What else is in here? Okay, so these are um, Simply Vera Vera Wang, which is sold at Kohl's. So don't love those, but that's okay. I mean, the condition is okay and they're like, they look comfortable. Uh, what size are they? It looks like they're a size eight, so it's a good size. It looks like a comfortable shoe for a heel. Um, so yeah, simply very very wing. Uh, a pair of Ferragamos. These look narrow. Let's see. Oh no, they're size. They're um a six B, so they're small. But that's I mean they're vintage, so they don't go for a lot, but they do sell. Um, they're like a dark blue color with a black toe. And yeah, those are, I mean, they're designer. That's, that's good for a rescue box for the shoes. Um, oh, cute, 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 cute. Uh, these are made well, and they're from fall 18, so they're not even that old. Um, they do look small. Yeah, they're size five, so that's not great. They're really cute little booties. Um, so it's a shame that they're small, but I think that they will sell. And then there's just one pair left, and they are from Zara Basic, and they're really cute boots. They need a little bit of cleaning, it looks like, but they're a really cute boot. They have that strap that goes underneath. Um, what size are they? They are a size 38, so probably a US 8, and yeah, that's it. 15 pairs is exactly what I ordered. And yeah, I think that's really exciting. Two pairs of AGLs, a pair of Prada, Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, what else was exciting? What were you? Michael Michael Kors. Uh, Marnie, I think, is pretty good. 
Madewell, even though it's a small size, I'm pretty excited about that. And I think the only like not great ones were the Target and then the unbranded boots. Otherwise, they all seem really good. Um, and maybe this Simply Vera Wang. But yeah, that's really exciting. So let me know what you think. Uh, do you think it was worth $90? I think, yes, I think it was definitely worth $90. Um, I definitely will continue to order these. Um, I seem to have the best luck Thursday and Tuesday and Thursdays is when they seem to restock. I just kind of watch the page, you know, continuously throughout the day. And then if um, I notice a change and I'm like, okay, today there's going to be some changes. So I'm going to pay attention like really close. And then, um, you know, I try to grab them. My favorite box is the DIY designer box, but second is the shoes and then maybe the handbags. Let me know if you've had luck with any other boxes. I did not have good luck with the men's. Um, I've had okay, like I thought it was pretty okay with the um, 25 mixed items. Uh, and yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give me a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and I will see you in the next one.